I am Anil Kumar, where we will discuss rate of change or slope of a tangent line on a semicircle in this particular example. Find slope of the tangent line to f of x equals to square root of 25 minus x square at 4, 3. So if you sketch this function, this is a semicircle with radius 5, correct? Kind of like this. The point 4, 3, 4, 3 could be somewhere here. So we're trying to find the slope of this tangent line, right? So that is the, the equation before us. So this is 0, the radius is 5, correct? And that is the point 4, 3 we're talking about. And we need to find equation of, or rather, you can find equation of the tangent line. We'll restrict ourselves to just finding slope of this tangent line. Now, slope of the tangent line we can get using different ways. And the method which we are going to adopt here is called difference quotient method. So we say the slope m is equal to limit h approaches 0, f of a plus h minus f of a over h. Where we are given a is 4, right? So a equals to 4. And we know f of a is equal to 3, right? This value 3 is f of a. Value of the function at x equals to 4. Now, using this formula, we can find the change. Now, numerator is basically change in y value, right? f of a plus h. We are considering two points. One at a, right? The other one slightly away, h distance away, right? So, a plus h away. And that is very, very small, h approaching 0. So, the two points are very, very close. And that is when the secant becomes a tangent and the average rate of change becomes the instantaneous rate of change which could be found by finding slope of the tangent line. Now, in this particular function, if I want to write, uh, let me first write this formula with the point A, which is 4, so that is say 4 plus H minus F of 4 over H, correct? Now, what is 4 plus H? We have to replace X with 4 plus h, right? So we'll write this as limit h approaches 0 square root of 25 minus 4 plus h whole square minus f of 4. Do you see that? And f of 4 basically is the value 3, right? Uh, so we could write 3 here. Is it okay? Divided by h. So we'll rewrite this limit, h approaches 0, square root of 25 minus 4 plus h whole square. So at times we can also simplify this. So let me simplify this expression. We have 25 minus 4 plus h whole square gives us 16 plus 2ab 8h plus h square, square root minus 3 over h, which is limit h approaches 0. If you open the bracket, 25 minus 16 is 9, right? So we can write this as square root of 9, and then we have minus 8h minus h square. Is it okay? Minus 3 divided by h. Now to solve for this, we will rationalize the given expression. So we have to limit h approaches 0. So if you rationalize this, we get square root of 9 minus 8h minus h square minus 3 divided by h times conjugate of that, which is square root of 9 minus 8h minus h square plus 3 divided by the same term, 9 minus 8h minus h square 
plus 3. So when you multiply a minus b times a plus b becomes a square minus b square. So what we get here is limit h approaches 0. Square of square root will be 9 minus 8h minus h square. Minus 3 square will give us minus 9 divided by h times all this. Let me write them in bracket. 9 minus 8h minus h square plus 3. Now in the numerator 9 minus 9 is 0. So we can write this as limit h approaches 0 and we have minus 8h minus h square. So I can take minus h common. So we get 8 plus h. Do you see that? Divide by h times within bracket square root of 9 minus 8h minus h square plus 3. So what we did here was 9 and 9 becomes 0, right? So that cancels out. Here we took h common, minus h common. So we get 8 and plus 1, right? If you open, you get minus 8h and minus h squared. Now we can cancel h and h. And at this stage, once you cancel, you can substitute h equals to 0. So you get minus 8 over h is 0. So we get square root of 9 here plus 3, right? So we have square root of 9 plus 3. When h approaches 0, these two terms are 0. So you get minus 8 divided by square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. So that gives us uh, minus 8 over 6. Or simplify this as minus 4 over 3. Is it okay? So the slope of the tangent line at 4, 3 will be minus 4 over 3. Correct? So that is how, using difference quotient, we can find the slope. You could be asked this question also in a different way. That is to find instantaneous rate of change at x equals to 4, right? Where again, you have to just find slope of the tangent line. So we'll discuss the same topic in instantaneous rate of change also, and the solution is kind of similar. Is it okay? I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. Thanks for watching and all the best.